Hello, this is Dr. Som Shekhar Rao, gastroenterologist and hepatologist, Ashoda Hospital, Hitech City, Hyderabad. Today we will talk about IBD or inflammatory bowel disease. What is this IBD and why are we worried about this IBD? Inflammatory bowel disease is increasing in India for the last 20 years and today India is the second largest uh, country to have the highest number of patients with inflammatory bowel disease. So we should be worried and we should be knowing, be aware of this disease. What is IBD? Again, IBD is nothing but there are inflammation or sores in your gastrointestinal tract which can cause multiple symptoms. So IBD is again divided into Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. First we will talk about ulcerative colitis because it is most common among these two. Ulcerative colitis presents with history of pain abdomen, diarrhea and bloody diarrhea. So any patient who presents with pain abdomen, diarrhea and bloody diarrhea, we should suspect ulcerative colitis. What happens in ulcerative colitis? The large intestine is the only one which is involved. Large intestine is again divided into cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon and rectum. There can be ulcers or erosions anywhere in your large intestine, in any part of your large intestine. And these presents with diarrhea, pain abdomen and bloody diarrhea. What is Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease affects anywhere from your mouth to your anal canal. It can present with ulcers in the mouth. It can present with ulcers in any part of your gastrointestinal system like esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. It can also present with abscesses or pus in the perianal region and it can present with multiple perianal fistulas. So what are the complaints in Crohn's disease? Most important complaints would be pain abdomen which can be mild to severe, progressive weight loss, pain abdomen increases after food intake, it can be 2 to 3 hours after food intake and some of them can present with diarrhea also. There can be progressive weight loss. These are the symptoms of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. So when someone has all these complaints, we have to visit a gastroenterologist to make a good diagnosis. So how is the diagnosis made? Most of the time, any IBD, we inv start investigating with the history and when we have a suspicion of inflammatory bowel disease, either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, we start with blood investigations initially. Later on, we do tool testing and along with tool test, we will ask for a test called endoscopy or colonoscopy and sometimes both. Endoscopy is a camera test which goes through your mouth. We will be able to see the food pipe, the stomach and the first part of the small intestine. In colonoscopy, the camera goes from the bottom through the anal canal. We will be able to visualize the whole of the large intestine and uh, some part of the small intestine also. When we visualize this, if we see some ulcers, we will be taking biopsies and the ultimate and final diagnosis will be made only with a biopsy. So the biopsy microscopic examination will give us a clarity about the diagnosis. Sometimes, very rarely, we may not be able to identify ulcers in these areas by endoscopy and colonoscopy. So in these people, we will uh, utilize a scope which can enter into the small intestine. This is called an enteroscopy. So we may enter into the small intestine and identify the ulcers and take biopsies from that place. A CT, specifically called a CT enteroclysis or CT enterography, also helps in diagnosis of small intestinal Crohn's. So once we make a diagnosis, the treatment is very very important and adhering to the treatment is important. Patients may require treatment for up to 3 to 5 years and some people may require treatment lifelong. Our aim of treatment in IBD, treating IBD is to control your symptoms and decrease the medications to as minimum as possible. This is the main aim of your treatment. So treatment contains medications and injections. There can be injections which we do acutely in the acute phase and over a period of time there are injections called biologicals which are available rampantly. These biologicals will be able to control your disease. We have uh, with the recent advances in medicine, we have uh, every type of biological injection available in India today and we are able to control the disease with biologicals in many of these patients. And uh, some people may not require biologicals they may just require some medications to uh, get the disease under control. Who are the patients? What is the age group of patients who can present with IBD? More importantly, age group between 20 to 40 
these are the people who are more prone for IBD. And uh, there is a second peak of age, which pa patients who are more than 60 years. There is a second peak, but most common we see uh, 20 to 40 years of age group uh, with IBD. So what are the treatment responses? So every patient should be identified at an early stage to achieve a good treatment response. So even in countries like uh, US, where advanced diagnostic methods are available, a patient with Crohn's disease will take an average uh, five years to make a diagnosis. In, in countries like India, we may require seven to eight, ten years because patients do not present to us at an early stage. So if you are aware of this disease, if you are aware of these symptoms, and if you can consult your gastroenterologist at an early stage, when you have the above symptoms, we will be able to make a diagnosis at an early stage and the treatment would be planned accordingly and we will be able to control the symptoms as early as possible. So diagnosing at an early phase of the disease will help in treating the patient effectively. So once we achieve the remission and get these patients under control, the disease under control, uh, there will be maintenance medications which will be m very minimal tablets to keep the control under disease. Most important thing in India for flares, this disease can get have flares sometimes even after getting uh, controlled and most important are infections in our country. So if you can avoid infections, we will be able to control the disease properly after you make a diagnosis and treat them. So attaining remission or this con getting the disease under control is the main target of treatment in these patients. To achieve this, we have to diagnose the disease at an early phase. To diagnose the disease, be aware of the disease and consult your gastroenterologist as early as possible. Thank you.